It is a privilege today to be joined on the summit by Coach Alex Mascarenas and Ali Puente from Hope International. The Royals are having a great season. And, Coach, let me just start with you. 30-9 and nine right now on the year. Pretty solid record. The most recent poll has you all as number 22 in the NAIA. So let's just start right now. Good, solid season. You started off winning 12 of your first 13 games. Talk about the year so far. Um, yeah, no, we – we had a, uh, a pretty tight bunch, a lot of returners, so that helped. Um, we came in, we started off really well. Um, I would say the last two weeks, we hit a little bit of a rough patch. We're not used to losing as much as we have the last two weeks, um, but the team has stayed together. And I think uh, throughout the course of a season, it's when you kind of want to have your bumps towards the middle is where you want to have it. So um, that way we can kind of end on a high note going into the postseason and try to get back on track uh, like we started. But overall, really proud of the team, um, how well they're competing and just getting along and um, just going out every day and representing the university. Coach, it's your first season as the head coach there at Hope International, and I'd, I'd like to talk about a couple of the strengths of the program, if you would mention those. I know we'll mention pitching here in just a moment for obvious reasons, but tell us what you think about your strengths of the team so far. Um, yeah, I think a lot of our strength is we have we have some returners that help. Um, some of that have been to the postseason and kind of know what it takes. Um, I think, too, behind a lot of successful programs, the supportive staff that we have at our university with um, our training staff, they do an amazing job to keep the girls healthy. Um, they travel with us. I know not a lot of small schools have get have their trainers travel. Um, to have the support of an athletic director like we do, John Turek, is just, um, it really helps me do my job better um, with his support. But then with a couple of older girls just kind of help leading the team and, um, especially when we started the season, we've, we've played really good defense behind good pitching. Um, so we know too, when Allie's on the mound, if we play really good defense, we're going to have a chance to be in every single game. And so we've had a, a lot of good key hits throughout the season that have been in a couple of our close games. Um, I think something that we've improved on from this last year's team to this year's team is they get that important hit when runners are on, um, especially later in tight games. So they've they've really done well at finding different ways to win games. Uh, so that's that would say be our biggest strength right now. And we win. We've won in a couple of different ways. And I know in order for us to to go make a deep run, that's something that a lot of good teams have to have is to win multiple different ways. And we've been able to do that so far. Well, Coach, let's talk about pitching just a little bit, and, and let's bring Allie into the equation as I'll give you the first chance to say something. Talk about what she has meant to the team. You were talking about the fact that when she's in the circle and if they're playing good defense, you put yourself in a position to win. Talk about her play individually. She's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she's been amazing. She's just been uh, – she's like a, how she leads our team just by example, her calmness. Um, you know, she's, she's had been fortunate enough to build a pitch in a lot of more pressure situations than she probably wants to. Um, but it also is going to help her towards the end. And I think when she's on the mound, our, our team feels really confident because they kind of feed off her and how she approaches the mound and when she's in the circle. And so they just, they really do feed off of her and know that, um, we have one of the, the best in the country, and so they want to back her up and they want to continue to, to play behind her really well. Allie, I'll go to you and let, let you follow that up just a little bit for the OK season that you're having right now, which has been good enough to be recognized within the conference as the GSAC Player of the Week seven times this season. You've also had national recognition as a National Player of the Week as well. Can you talk about your season so far and what this has meant to you? Um, I think this season's a little more special. You know, we have a lot of older girls on the team and they just, everybody makes me feel very welcomed on the team. And they always like tell me, we have your back, go pitch, go throw how you want to throw. And it kind of helps that my sister's behind the plate. And it gives me a little bit more comfort knowing that I have two sisters on the team and no matter what I throw, it doesn't matter which spot, which location that it, I'm going to have backup for it. 
I did want to ask about that too. What, I mean, just to even expand on that just a little bit, having two sisters on the team, I mean, uh, coach did really well. I mean, he may have hit the gold mine then coming into this, this season this year and his first year to have all of you there. But yeah, it was very exciting. <laughs> Okay, let me let me read some numbers here in just a second. You're watching uh, Midwest Sports Net. We're talking here on the summit today, and I encourage you please subscribe to the channel Midwest Sports Net. We enjoy talking about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Talking today with Alex Mascarenas and Ali Puente from Hope International. Let me read these numbers to you really quickly, Ali. Twenty-one and one. These are numbers you probably already know too. Twenty-one and one for the year so far. That's your one loss record. Two hundred ninety-three strikeouts really close to that 300 mark, which I, I'm sure there, there's no doubt you will reach very soon, and an ERA of 0 0.59. Now, very impressive numbers. It is the pitcher's triple crown right now within conference play, and nationally, first in two of those categories, third in ERA. Uh, what do those numbers mean to you? And, and um, if you didn't know them already, were you surprised to hear them? Um, well, we, me and my sister kind of have a plan every time we pitch, and we stick with the plan. We always know go after the zone. So it doesn't matter where we're at, who we're playing. We stick with our plan and we try and execute it the best we can. So that's probably why the numbers are like that way. Well, they are very impressive numbers. And I, and I definitely wanted to, to tout those because it's really neat to get to visit with someone who is putting up numbers like that. I had to ask you really quickly, uh, you picked up your 30th win of the season. And in the game just yesterday, you came in, had two innings pitched. Now, to get two innings pitched, you, you had to uh, record six outs. Of those six outs, five of them were strikeouts. So you just took care of business right there. I have to ask you, do you, do you feel like your fielders are bored when you go to the circle? They always tell me they have more fun watching me strike people out because they get more excited, I think, more than the bullpen does. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I just had to ask that too. I mean, you, you're taking care of business all on your own. So I, I really appreciate the time that you all have given me today. And I want to ask you one more question. I know there's a little bit left to this 2023 season. So Allie, our st I'll start with you. Uh, you talked about the, the, the goals actually that you set. So let's follow up on that. What are your goals as you continue through this season? Um, I think just staying ahead, keep getting ahead of hitters and keep putting my team in a good position where they can execute on their end as well. And I know that our team can come together and figure that out when the time is needed. Coach, I'd, I'd like you to, uh, you know, follow that up and also elaborate a little bit. You mentioned earlier what it might take to, to take a deep run into the playoffs, uh, winning in, in different ways. Are there anything, is there anything else that comes to mind as you look to try to take this team that does have some playoff experience a little bit deeper into the NAI tournament? Um, yeah, I think, I think especially within these last two weeks, um, learning from some of the mistakes that we've made to, that has put us in some tough situations in the game, um, I think that will, will help us going into the postseason. Uh, looking back on our season, we actually have, I would say, a lot of close games um, that we've been able to be on the right side of at the end. Um, I know when we get into the postseason, most of them are going to be close. So having that experience in close games, we know is going to be huge going into it. Just not just for for Ali, but for some of our hitters, knowing that they got to execute when when the time is right, and just defense playing and making the plays when it's a zero zero game. Um, but overall, I think you know our our first goal was to win conference. Um, we've put ourselves in a position we're not there yet. We still got to finish, um, and then our next little goal is win the GSAC tournament, um, which is in two weeks. Um, and then wherever we're seated and wherever they would put us ultimately is to take the program to the national championships where they've never been. All right. Well, we will continue to follow you. It's been fun to watch you all over the course of this season. Allie, your numbers have just been great week in and week out. But as a whole, the team has done well. 30 and 9 right now, number 22 in the country Coach Alex Mascarenas and Ali Puente, thank you so much for taking time with us today, and we will continue to follow you all. Success to the Royals. Thank you. Thank you for having us today.